When you open Cubase with the Frere Jacquard file, you will see this page when you come up. You can see you've got all your tracks down here, and if you want to make them bigger or smaller, you come down to the bottom right hand side and you can increase the size of them as you would like. To hear each track by itself, you will need to solo the track. So to start with, if you listen to everything, it's a bit of a mush. We won't want to start our piece of music like that. So let's solo the drums and we can then hear our drums. I've got the tracks set to loop or cycle, which I've done by drawing the blue line here. So this is the drums. I've added the string chords and the intro break by taking the tracks off mute. This is Frere Jacquard with the lead line added. Now I don't want you to create a piece of music just by using loop, I want you to create the music. So we'll take it off loop and we will copy and paste our drum track. So you click on the track that you want to copy and it puts a red box around it. You then do Control and C to copy. I want to paste it right next to it at track 5, so I, sorry, bar 5, so I click on the number 5. I then tell the computer I want to paste it onto my drum track. So there's two things you need to tell the computer, which track and at what time. So my drum track and bar number five, and then you type control and V to paste. I want quite a few of these repetitions, so I'm gonna click number nine and then control V, number 13, control V, 17. I then want to add some string chords, so I'm going to copy that. If I click Control V now, the string chords will appear over the top of my main drums at point 25 on my drum track. Here we go. I don't want it there, so I'm going to left click and drag it to where I want it to be. Actually, I want more string chords, so I'm going to click at number 9 and then string chords Control V. You can layer up your music this way. If you want to change your lead line, let's copy our lead line. I don't want you to create a variation on what I've written. I want you to create a variation on what you've written. So let's take our lead line, Control Copy. Let's put it lead line track 13, that'll do. There we go. If we double click on it, you will see this window comes up and if we look at the music you can follow it along. Now in order to change that I think I'm going to delete the beginning so I'm highlighting it and then just hitting delete. I quite like this bit from 15 so I'm going to copy that. I think that's cool. So I'm going to copy and paste this bit so I'm going to do Control c to copy, I'm going to stick it here, V to paste, and again, there we go, and if I get rid of this bit, here we go. I can now move up using the arrow keys, and so it will change. So I could create something a little bit interesting. Whoops. There we go, let's move that one back down. And now what have we got? <laughs> 